Hi, you guys. I'm here with my weekly mail. I didn't do one last week. I had finals all week this week, so I just couldn't focus on anything but that. So, um, but I'm back. I took one week off. I passed everything, so I'm done with the semester. Two semesters down. Two more to go. So, all right. Let's see what we got in the mail. There, there was a few things that I got, and I had already taken them out, put them away, and all that stuff. So I'm sure you don't miss it. <laughs> but okay, um, the first thing I'm going to show you is from Kat Bundy. This is um, from Influencer. So I got it. It was raining that day. It was completely demolished the box, but luckily everything inside was good. So it comes with a card here, and the card is just join the hashtag Locket Revolution. And they sent over um, a few items. Uh, I wanted to show you the packaging of some of the things. So um, they come in a really nice sleek box. Again, it was raining, you know, things are a little bit damaged, but everything inside was perfect. So inside the box, it came with five, five items. Um, first of all, the box for everything, super sleek. Um, I think it's just very typical of her style. She's very kind of goth and to me, in my opinion, it's kind of out there for me. Um, she's a very unique person and I really like, um, you know, I kind of like her style. I would never do it. It's not something that I, I personally, you know, am into, but I really like it from afar. You know, I think it's beautiful. But, um, so anyway, all of her packaging is the same. Um, it's all black. The brushes that they do come with, um, it has a picture of the brushes on the back, which is really nice. Um, inside the boxes, the, each of the brushes came packed in plastic as well to protect it, thankfully, since my box was completely drenched. And it also came with two concealers. They were very light concealers. The one that I got, let's see, they have the um, L7, which is warm and then an L5, which says neutral. So um, they're both very, very light, but I did use the L7, the warm, um, under my eyes this morning. Since it is so, so light, I did put it underneath my foundation instead of on top, because I think it would be too stark white if I were to um, put it on on top. So I it also came with a very super fine powder this powder is really, really, really good. I have other powders and I have like those white translucent powders and everything and they're, they're good. I like them, but this one is really, really good. It says translucent also, but it's, it's not white. It has like a skin tone kind of color. Um, and it's so fine and it just kind of just, it doesn't feel like you're putting powder on it kind of just like I don't know, it's just so soft. And with the brush that it comes with, with this super fluffy brush, it's a number 20 brush, um, it's super cool. I like the point here, I think that's pretty cool. It's just an awesome looking brush. Obviously I've used it, um, but this brush is so, so soft. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's the softest brush I own. I don't own any brush that's like this. The, the style, the tip, it's nice, it gets right in and underneath the eyes if you need to. Um, it's just really, really soft. I love this brush. The concealer brush, I haven't used this one yet. It's pretty unique. It's, um, I don't even know how to describe it, but the name is Edge Concealer Brush, I guess because it's maybe it's got some flat edges on it. It's pretty cool. Um, again, I haven't used it, but it feels like it's a nice, it's soft, but yet it's very stiff, so you can kind of like press it into like the corners of your eye if you need to. So um, I haven't, I can't wait to use this one. I don't know why I didn't use it this morning. I completely forgot to use it, but so that's pretty awesome. So we got two brushes, the two concealers and um, the setting powder. So, oh, so far I really like it. Uh, I got this, this is an USB-C hub because if you have like the newer um, MacBooks, um, the 12 inch, they're like super lightweight. They only have a charging point port in there and I think like for headphones or whatever. So they don't have anything where you can use a USB. If you want anything, you have to buy an adapter. So I was able to get this thing here. It just comes in the box here. And this actually has, um, let me see, a spot. It has USB, two USB ports, a micro um, SD card, and a regular SD card. 
um, port and this last one is another oh this is the USB-C so you can actually plug this into the side of your computer and then you can still charge it because the charging port is right here and it also comes with like a little satchel so you can store your little handy device right in there that is a nice little thing there so I'm gonna stick that in there for now I also have another charging case I love the one that I have and um, it's just really nice to have another this one's cool because it's got a stand on it also um, so that's a big improvement for me so I would like that so this is the same as I have a white one that's just like this except for it doesn't have a stand on it and um, it has the little button here does it have any charge in it no nothing I think this is just like a regular standard um, I forget what the name of the port is but you know like um, Android uh, phones and things like that I think that's the same type of um, charging thing that it is for the case here It would be nice if it was an Apple port back here, but so yeah, you, these are super easy. You just slide these apart. Hold on. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, okay, <laughs> it's not that hard. You just slide this off. The first um, charging case that I ever got was horrible. I scratched up my phone. I couldn't open it. It was just really bad. They sent me two of them, and they were both awful. So, um, okay, here you go. So there you go. It has the little stand that you can pop your phone up on. I am going to be doing a giveaway. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to figure out some things that I want to do to do the giveaway. I have this bag from Hen Henry Bendel. It's like a canvas kind of, I don't know, like a backpack. I don't, I don't know. I think it's like a beach bag. That's how, kind of what I thought about it. So, and the retail value, I think it's like around 80 to a hundred dollars. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway with this. I just want to kind of think about what I want to put with it. Um, so it's really cute. It's, like a green army green color here and black and kind of beige striped I think it's nice I like it so now that I'm out of school for two weeks I'm so excited just to have some time off and not worry about anything not cramming my brain every day um, it's so awesome I'm so excited but um, when I do go back I will be going to school for the first uh, month of my next rotation I'll be going to school on Saturdays, so um, there'll be like a little change up. Um, maybe I don't know if I'm going to have time to actually do that many videos for that following month, um, starting in September. So, you know, there may be some slowdowns or something like that. Probably, potentially, yeah, most likely. Uh, just to let you guys know, um, it's getting further into the program, so it is getting a lot harder. So. That's why the videos have been more sparse because it's really difficult working full time, you know, being a full time mom of three kids and uh, trying to go to school and study and do all those things. It's really, really hard and maintain your, you know, your family and your household. So forgive me for being MIA from here and there, here and there, because it's going to happen and it's probably going to happen a little bit more until I finish. So I have a few more months left to to go with it like what maybe six or eight more months and hopefully I'll finish it off I don't know I, I'm sorry I was just playing with scissors that was the little clicking sound that you heard let me put it down I can't keep my hands still I just can't all right so I do have battle of the boxes coming up I have the boxy charm and glossy box and I have birch box which I already did an unboxing last week but I'm gonna go ahead and redo it with Ipsy and my um, Sephora Play Box. And I can tell you right now that the Birch Box sucks. Wait till you see it. It sucks so bad. It's not even funny. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in another video.